ओके नाउ आई एम लाइव गाइस एंड लेट अस स्टार्ट विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम एंड ओके नाउ एवरीथिंग इज ओके एंड लेट अस स्टार्ट गाइस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू ऑल द फार्मूलास ऑफ सरफेस एरिया एंड वॉल्यूम फॉर थ्री डायमेंशनल फिगर एंड आल्सो फॉर टू डायमेंशनल फिगर गाइस सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम एंड लेट मी यूज पेन एंड वाइट कलर okay so first of all for q i am going to do little bit quickly because i think you all has done this but we are going to do revision that's why this is q and in q length breadth and height all the three are same hi shivam so first of all what is lateral surface area lateral surface me area means the area of the four walls of this cube four walls if you are sitting in a room and you are finding you know, i mean you are finding four walls in that room so only the area of that four wall is called lateral surface area this wall here here and on the back side so that is lateral surface area and for cube if you want to find out lateral surface area four faces are there this is your first face front face you can say back face so 1 2 3 4 so one face area is l square and four such faces are there that's why 4 l square for lateral surface area for total surface area for this plus top and plus bottom so total six surface area will be there so that will be 6 l square and for finding the volume of any three dimensional figure you need to multiply the base area with height so base area is l into l and height is also l here so here you will get l into l into l l cube base area multiply with height guys this is for cube now moving towards cuboid in cuboid you are having length breadth and height and all these three are different sometimes it can be equal but different measurements for length breadth and height so what you need to do hi shivam lsa means the area of four walls of this room for finding area of four walls front side back side and both this sides so total four sides but the area of this front side is length into height and area of this back side for this back side let me write draw imaginary lines back side is also l into h so two times l into h and this side b into h here also b into h so 2 time b into h now you can take out common 2 h common and l plus b is remaining so this is the formula for finding sorry hi beta lok deepak this is the formula for finding the lateral surface area of cuboid cuboid let me write down cuboid here then total surface area means this four wall plus the top and the bottom part so area of bottom part is l into b two times l into b top will be also l into b so two times b into h or l, sorry l into b now take out two common so you will get 2 into bracket lb plus bh plus h right guys total surface area very good shivam now for finding the volume as i told you in the beginning also for volume in you you need to multiply the base area with height base area that is length into breadth and with height so multiply with h so this is the formula for finding the volume of cuboid 10 94 marks dear out of 900 and 6 mark construction was there during our syllabus 6 mark construction was there and that was circle construction and i was not knowing so i left that arun bhai okay come on moving towards cylinder this is cylinder and in cylinder you are having two measurement one is radius one is height now you need to first find out curved surface area what is curved surface area means this part open from the top and open from the bottom this part this part you can see curve part for finding curve part you again you 
need to multiply the base circumference you need only this part so base circumference that is 2 pi r multiply with height so you will get curved surface area and for total surface area you need to add curved surface area plus these two circles so 2 pi r h plus this two circles so area of two circles will be 2 pi r square so take out 2 pi r common and you will get h plus r now volume for cylinder again the same thing i am repeating base area multiply with height so what is the formula for finding base area of this pi r square and multiply with height so h again simple this is cylinder now moving towards cone let me draw like this so that you come to know that this is cone and not triangle sometimes student misinterpret this as triangle and let me tell you here you are having three measurements one is radius one is height and one is slant height please keep this in mind this is slant height and not length many students are getting confused when we are using l that l is different for length and this l is different this is for slant height so don't get confused into these two guys okay so, and the formula first of all whenever you are having any two measurement out of this you can find out the third measurement with the help of pythagoras that is l square is equals to h square plus r square or you can say l is equals to under root h square plus r square this is your formula for finding any one side out of this when two sides are given to you okay guys then csa curved surface area of cone curved surface area of cone means this part only this part open from the bottom if you want to find out this curved surface area you need to multiply pi r and slant height not height now we need for curved part we need slant height you can see okay and then for total surface area of cone curve part plus base that is a circle base that is a circle so pi r l is your curve part plus area of circle that is your base part take out pi r common you will get l plus r so this is the formula for total surface area pi r plus l plus r for total surface area of cone now i am going to tell you the best trick for finding volume of cone simple you can see you know how to find out the volume of cylinder pi r square h if i divide this cylinder if i divide the cylinder let me draw it here into three parts by joining like this you can see then this middle part will become cone and this remaining this two part will mm, will be removed from the cylinder so how to find out you can see total cylinders volume is pi r square h now i want one part out of these three parts so can i write 1 by 3 pi r square h guys so this way you can remember this guys curved surface area total surface area and volume of cone is this now the next figure that we are going to study is sphere don't get confused between sphere and circle guys this is three dimensional figure okay this is sphere not circle okay now here one thing you need to keep in mind that every part here is curved so the curved surface area and total surface area will be same both are same total and curve part both are same part only so we are having same formula for total and curve that is 4 pi r because we don't have any base in sphere we don't have any base that's why curved surface area and total surface area is 4 pi r square now for finding the volume or the capacity of this you can say that is 4 by 3 pi r cube guys this is for sphere and if i cut this sphere into half part let me do it here 
then this will become hemisphere edge but when you will cut this you will get this as your base you get got base so what will happen here you will get two different formula for curved surface area and total surface area which you are not getting here okay so curved surface area guys that is half of this this full is 4 pi r square so this will be 2 pi r square but for total surface area now one circle is added in this curve part so this will be 3 pi r square and for finding the volume for finding the volume just you need to multiply half with this half with this so 2 2 will get cancel and here you will get 2 so you can say the volume of hemisphere will be 2 by 3 pi r cube so these are the formulas for uh, uh, surface area and volume one more part is there that is frustum of cone but this year they had removed for a stem of corn so i am not explaining that guys if you like this please subscribe to my channel and please i am i will give you link of my group whatsapp group and telegram group in the description so you can join me if you are having any doubt you can send me there and we can share the material if you you if your school has taken any paper you can submit that paper to other students also in that group and we can share material with the students and they can learn new new things guys so thank you so much for being with me if you like this video click on the like button and subscribe to my channel and follow me on an academy also guys i am taking free live lectures on an academy also and my code you can see in the line given below galaxy coaching for free live classes also and for plus live classes also guys so please you use that and thank you so much for being with me let me end this class bye guys